Hi, I'm Stuart from SCB Lead Works, and today I'm going to give a quick demonstration of how to weld lead. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a shave hook and I'm just going to take off the surface of the lead here just to clean it up and give me a nice clean surface for the lead to, to weld. Just where it's oxidised, I'll take off about 5mm. I'm going to do this on both pieces. It's nice and clean now. So now I'm just going to put them two bits together. Dress. Um, just going to well, um, sorry, get the uh, welded rod. This can just take this off the roll or any scraps that you've got. Doesn't have to be anything special. So I'm just going to cut a strip off. What I'm going to do to that is also I'm going to shave at this to clean up a bit. Um, don't have to do this to be honest, and generally on site, I don't actually shave hook everything. Um, I generally get it to well quite nicely without doing that, but this will make it easier. Um, so if you're a beginner and just giving it a go or whatever, then I'd recommend doing this. Right. Now we're using oxyacetylene um, and I've got a Modelo torch here with uh, this number three nipple on there. Some people use number two, but I've always used number three. Um, and also, I'm going to wear a mask for this. This is an FFP3 mask. It'll just take out all the toxic fumes. Because obviously when you're welding this, it's giving off pure lead fumes. So we're going to light the acetylene first. which is about two to three inches. Now we're going to introduce the oxygen and you, as I do that, you'll see the flame changing and we get this sort of like, this feathering. Now what we're going to do is add more oxygen until that feathering goes right down to a, like a little ball. Not too much, you don't want it sharp like that. If that's too sharp, that's going to give quite a dirty weld. So we're going to give it a bit more oxygen Something like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how hot this is. And it's not a bad temperature to be honest, so I'm just gonna take both sides. Just put this a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do now, about there, try that. I'm gonna make the lead molten and I'm gonna add the material. I'm just going to keep doing that. Now basically, the, the colder the flame, the more time you get to work with it. So if you are just doing this for the first time, have quite a cold flame, so you can just get the feel of it. And what you want to do is you want to bring, see that really shiny point just there? You want to bring that so it's just not quite touching the area that you want to weld. If you do putting it in too close, there's a good chance the lead's gonna it's gonna fire everywhere. So um, maybe wear some goggles just so you don't want to get this in your eye. Um, and you don't want to have the flame too far away either. So it's really about finding that sweet spot. And that sweet spot is that little tip there, that shiny tip. You just want to touch it, literally just off where you want to weld. Um, so, let's do a bit more. Let's come to the end of that stick now. It is literally that simple. 
And as you can see now, we have a nice strong weld. That's not gonna break. I mean, that's, that's quite thick. Now then, I hope you found this video useful. Um, please let me know in the comments section of other videos you'd like to see, um, bossing roll ends, anything you want, and I'll try and make it happen. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you again.